nine, three, two, one, power up. Moving forward, three across the line, shoot and score, take possession of the switch. Now they're going after the scale. The Viking Kujan, they shoot and score, up at the top shelf. Step up and drive and play first power up here in Alpena on the ESI Arcade. Swing and a miss on the 7244 machine. The Husky Robotics out of Atlanta. Now they're not moving. Two robots not moving. One red, one blue. Moving in. Trying to get that second one in. That's a weekend coup, John. And look at that V2 Robotics. Got all that low-hanging fruit right in front of them. Shoot, turn, grab it, shoot, turn, grab it. Seventy-two thirteen. Now they're back in the game. Got a red, two red switches, red scale. Got a levitate and a boost engaged on the red lion's side. Got a blue force engaged on the blue. Forces engaged on the red. 42 seconds left. Now we got three robots moving. Now this one stopped again. That sound, that gets us into the end game. V2 Robotics going up. Got their grappling hook employed. Coming around the far side, 72-13. The Gladwell Knights making a run for it to their platform. Got three red robots up on top. Down to two seconds. All right. Head referee Lori Verbuggy is awarding a yellow card to the entire Red Alliance. I wouldn't. A Red Alliance robot extended their arm inside the frame perimeter of an opposing robot. There's, uh, 
the offending robot is part of an alliance, the entire alliance will carry a yellow card throughout the remainder of the playoffs. Scores are ready. Let's take a look and see if we have our fourth finalist. This is our type. And with a 432 to 233 victory, the Red Alliance, the number one alliance, moves on to the semifinal.